you have no idea what you're capable of. And I mean, no idea. Okay. And I know I keep saying that in a few short years, you could change your life. Okay. I don't know how old you are when you're watching this or listening to this, but I was 39 years old. Okay. 39 years old. And literally I realized that like, if I was to die right now, like I'm not good. Mm. Like I'm not good. Like I'm not happy. Like I made some money, but like, I'm not proud of me. Mm. I ain't done anything. I, I really, truly didn't do anything. I said that term in the beginning that people that come up, come from nothing can end up with the most. I really truly believe that your problems that you have are really not big problems. They're really not, okay? You just need someone to tell you they're not that big because we get in our own head and we try to tear ourselves down. People who are their own greatest asset or their worst enemy. It's just the truth. And 99% of us, we're our own worst enemy. Enjoy the state of discomfort. You know, I hear all this shit about enjoy the suck, enjoy the suffer. Do you guys hear people say that? Like lean into the pain, enjoy the suffering. Dude, I don't know about you guys, but, I, I, but I'm fucking like, I love discomfort. Discomfort isn't uncomfortable. You know what's discomfort? Who in here is going backwards on their year to date this year? That's fucking uncomfortable. Okay? You know what's uncomfortable? Going home and explaining to my wife that we gotta fucking tighten up. Okay? That pisses me off. And some of you, it doesn't piss you off. You know, your why is different than mine, but I got a why, why I show up, why I would want to train, why I would want to work, why there's 60 minutes in an hour I'd want to work every minute in that hour. Why? If I don't have that why together, wipe it all out. Alter your identity. Alter your identity. Recreate yourself right freaking out. Watch this. So number one, all the experiences you've ever been through in your life, all the things that people said, the elephant, right? They, they tied its leg. They staked it in the ground when it was a baby. As it got big, it could easily rip the stake out of the ground and run away, but it's got a damn leash on it. Look, performance, performance equals knowledge minus leashes. You know what that means? You want performance. I'll give you all the knowledge, but if you got leashes in your head and you don't believe that that can happen for you, minus the knowledge. The knowledge is gone now because you got a leash, man. You got to unlock. What if I say, well, what if I do it and it don't work? <laughs> well, do winners say, I can't afford to be in the same place next year and it not work. I can't afford for that to happen. The cost is too great for me not to do it. If I started working at 18 and I'm 40 years old now and, I'm, and I've been working for 22 years or I'm 30 years old and working for 12 years and I've got 50 grand in the bank, dude, you've managed to save $3,000 a year since you're 18 years old. Are you ever going to retire? Recreate? My gosh. Reinvent yourself, man. Look, who you are now is not who you're supposed to end up to be. self-improve every day mm -hmm. most people self-improve just enough yeah to make a quarter of a million a million and then they slow down mm -hmm. i'm not slowing down mm -hmm. you know why because this universe is very giving it'll give you whatever you want yeah all of it mm -hmm. but every single day you got to get sharper okay mm -hmm. so i believe in skill stacking i believe in totally recreating i believe you have to reinvent yourself every day no bullshit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No uh, social media talk here. Every day you need to get better. Why? Because mm -hmm. your children need to look up to you to be their hero. Mm -hmm. If not, they're going to find another one. Mm -hmm. You'll come home one day and you'll realize that you're not your kid's hero no more. Mm -hmm. Why? Because someone else leveled up while you weren't. Mm -hmm. You're distracted. Your wife doesn't admire you no more. Mm -hmm. Okay, my wife admires me. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because I remember there was a day when she didn't. And it drove me crazy. I was just an average guy. Better than most, mm -hmm. but still average. By the way, in order to become that leader, mm -hmm. I'm just going to tell you, you got to totally recreate because mm -hmm. if you're not willing to do that, you can never become this man. It'll just be a dream. And that's why a lot of people never get their dreams. They don't change. So our goal is, is that I want to make enough noise and shake people to death so they can realize that, look, your wife deserves more. Your kids, listen to me. If you won't do it for you, do it for your kids. Your kids are going to have, so they're, they're back against the wall. They're going to have some tough stuff happen, but they're going to say, mom and dad push through this. They're our blood. We can do it too.
But guess what? You freaking quit. So will they.